road has so much snow on it. Came up over the hood there. All right, snow's partially off the doors of this all-wheel drive Hemi Chrysler C. We'll see what the roads are like. Hopefully we make it back in one piece. All right, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Buckle up for safety, right? Turn traction control off. Oh, she's gonna spin. This does have a set of Goodyear snow tires, same as like what they use on police interceptors around here. So we should be good. Why are all the interior lights on? Like there's so much snow in the door jam that's not letting the yep. <laughs> oh boy. Nice if the heat would start going here. It's making it so the windows are fogging up, so that's fun. What a winter wonderland we have here today. Trying to tell where the road is here. From what you see, uh, luckily we have the trees here. If this was a field, you'd really have no clue what's the road and what's not. It is impressive the amount of snow that has fallen in the last, it's only about noon, this is supposed to go through the night until tomorrow. How much snow do you think we'll have then, guys? Alright, some brakes here. Snow is about halfway up that plow right there. There's a good, probably six inches on the road. This one hasn't been hit in a while by the plows. this car the all-wheel drive with these basically summer tires was terrible the car wanted to move on the snow or ice once you get some actual snow tires which makes all the difference this car is an absolute tank pushing through I can f hear it I don't know if you can hear it too see that snow coming up that's because the snow is deep enough that it's pushing through the front bumper up over the hood exhaust system off my Hellcat on it with an extra resonator just to quiet down the drone a little and uh, it's awesome it sounds so good everybody's got their four-way lights on here so we're gonna be going through an area that has just open fields so there's gonna be snow drifts because we have 30 mile an hour winds with the snow today this is in a little town called Mexico New York which holds a record for most snow within 
like a 48 hour period ever within the continental US due to the way that we get the way the jet stream runs across the lake next to us it pulls arctic air across the warm lake and dumps it right on our little town we've been on CNN uh, multiple times uh, I think the record was 132 inches in a 36 hour period which is uh, to put that in perspective that's most of the way up your door <laughs> Today we are supposed to get three and a half foot in two hours, so or not two hours, in twenty-four hours. This road's been hit by a plow, which is nice. rip a donut with this thing and it's, it looks like a rear wheel drive car with a front tire just going kind of moving. Uh, however, in a straight line, normal driving when you're not ripping burnouts, it does a great job. You just feel it gripping and pulling you. This is our little town. Not much happening today. They called a snow day last night before it even started snowing for the kids because they knew it was going to be bad. Much like most of the other businesses, we also basically close for the day, so there's no way I'm going to keep up with this and have safe test drives at all. Um, if it was like my friend's test driving car, like there's plows at every single place trying to just keep up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait until it's all hammered out, and then I'll plow once at the end instead of doing it five times. Anyways, if it was my friends out driving our cars, I'd trust them, but I don't trust the public to drive in this type of stuff. It's going to be interesting because Alice ordered an Instacart order from the marketplace back there. We'll see if anybody takes it. If not, I might have to run back out and go pick up the order. I didn't want to have the carry in all, you know, $200 worth of crap. Alice is like, I already put the order in. Just go get the stuff for the snowmobile and come back. So. my stab links rattling around was crazy. We've already replaced those. Looked at the ball joints. I'd already did struts. I don't know what it is that has the rattle in the front end. Maybe control arm bushings? They all seem tight too, so. It's just that high quality Chrysler engineering you guys are gonna hear. The worst one I've had, I had a PT Cruiser Turbo that had the most noisy front end I've ever felt out of vehicle. everywhere so we've had a weird winter um this 
is the first significant snowfall we've had all year. I remember as a kid going out for Halloween and basically having it almost like this out. It's been many years since we've been uh, having our normal schedule of snow. Uh, last year was very similar to this where we basically had a green Christmas and then the snow hammered us from January through March. So if we get another year like that where I only have to deal with this for three months instead of six, then I'm fine with that. Okay, so there's a nap up here. <laughs> See, that dealer's trying to, we just went by a car dealership on the left, he's out there trying to get all this stuff cleared out now, where I just don't see the point if they're supposed to do it for another almost day straight of snowing like this, just do it all at once. He's got to have you, I got a 2500 truck that weighs plenty to move the snow around, I don't see the point. I'm going to waste all my day, I'll do family time today. has not plowed, so. Just punch through and make it in the driveway. Looks like they're getting propane delivered. I'm gonna leave this thing running, I'll be right back. All right. Basically 14 bucks, we got us um, Amsoil racing two stroke. Yeah, that sounds a good time. Can't see shit because all my windows are fogged up. So goddamn cold up. Work our way back to the gas station. Besides trying, so all the things I've done were not to make the car run, I was just trying to make it less clunky and shitty Chrysler. But apparently, there's no fixing that. Crab walk our way down the road here. Um, like all the work we've done is like stab lengths and struts and like trying to get rid of squeaks and rattles. But no matter what I do, it still squeaks and rattles. So, good job, Chrysler. You boys know what you're doing that day. Get some gas and uh, work our way back to the house. Oh shit, there's like people taking pictures of their car back there that looks like they got wrecked. Must have went off the road or something. It's kind of nice as these little side streets have been plowed. Uh, you can't really tell because of the way the zoom is, but there's, off the side here, that's about two foot tall of snowbank. It's maybe two inches on the road right now, currently. These snowbanks are a little higher than the actual accumulation just because of, it gets piled up on the snow path. Okay. It's a weird off-camber uphill entrance into the gas station here. So. Make it up. We got the bulldozers out. This is how you know we're going to be getting some serious snow and McDonald's and stuff is ready to get the actual big bulldozers instead of relying on the little plows. They have non-ethanol here, so pick some up. Most of you car guys are like, yeah, you need ethanol, but not, not on two strokes, not on small engines, you want ethanol for it clog up everything. All right, filled up. Uncle Joe's got us at $4.40 a gallon for 90 non-ethanol. 
actually gonna just go around so you can kind of maybe get some perspective of how fucked these people are. Like, this car is stuck in the McDonald's parking lot here. That car also buried in the McDonald's parking lot. Up over the rear bumper. Everybody's out plowing, trying to get out. Luckily, you see the trucks with the ground clearance, they're fine, but it is no joke. Kind of nice, actually. It's been a while since we got some real snow. nice too because my check engine light has been off for over 2,000 miles now which keeps throwing random EGR codes which is a little annoying but EGR has already been replaced so I don't understand why but it is what it is I guess. Let's work our way back to the house. here and this road's been plowed. Oh, there's a guy out waving to everybody. Friendly little town we're in here. Slide. Okay. Good. Ooh. It's slippery underneath, boys. Woohoo!
one swipe down the center of the road because I don't have enough plows to get it all done. And so if I come up on a car, I'm going to have to drive off into my actual side of the lane here, which over here is much thicker. And now it's being bent, so when it's fresh, it cut the car's cut right through it. Once it's been hit by the plow, it kind of rolls over onto itself and compacts. So now that side, even my one tire being on it, you just hear it like, <laughs> says it's way harder to cut through it. up as an actual like just cruise around and see what it's like to drive in a foot and a half of snow with a 300 and i'm also going to use clips in my actual overview of the snowstorm video peace